Shazam, Shazam, Shazam! I am Gomer Pyle, and this geometry lesson is on measuring and classifying angles. But let's go ahead and do the board problem first, you guys. So this would be board problem number four, so solve each equation. Uh, okay, so 5x plus 6 plus 2x minus 14 equals 90. You're going to combine like terms. 5x plus 2x is 7x. And then 6 minus 14 gives me minus 8, okay, so equals 90. So then you'd take this and you'd go plus 8 plus 8. That's why we got 98, 90 plus 8. And then 7 goes 98, 14 times, okay. On this one, same thing, going to combine 4x plus x is uh, 5x. And then I get uh, negative 30 plus 25 is negative 5 equals 180. Again, I'm going to go plus 5 to 180 to get 185. And then 5 goes into that 37 times. All right, on, on number three, okay, multiply everything by three, you guys, to get rid of that, uh, that fraction. You guys freak out on that because it's a fraction. We'll get rid of it. Multiply that times three, that times three, that times three, that times three, and it gets rid of the fraction. Okay, this times three, the, the threes are gone. You're left with x. Two times three is six. X times three, and then negative five times three. Okay, and then, uh, then I subtracted x from three x, and I got 2x, and then I, I did plus 15. Plus 15 to 6 gave me 21, and 2 goes into 21 10.5 times. Okay. Uh, all right, so measure and classify angles. Okay, so here's the angle right there. Okay, so these two rays right here, this ray BA and ray BC, are called the sides of the angle. So an angle consists of two different rays with the same endpoint. In this case, it's uh, endpoint B. Remember, uh, endpoint is like beginning point for the rays, you guys. So I don't know, the books call them endpoints. But it's actually the beginning point, ray BA, and it goes in the direction of A to forever and ever and ever. And these rays are called the sides, okay? And that common point right there is uh, the vertex of that angle, okay? So there's uh, this angle can be named in three different ways. I can say angle ABC. I can say angle CBA, and since there's only one angle here, you can just call it angle B, okay? And, and you put a little angle symbol with them. This is an angle. This is the word angle right here, okay? So angle ABC, angle CBA, or just angle B, okay? All right, so name three angles in the diagram. Can you see three angles right there? I can. I can see two little guys and then the big guy, okay? So uh, angle MAH. Angle H A T, and then the big angle, angle M A T. Hmm, love math. Yes, sir. -y. Okay, so that's what that says. And you can't say angle A here because angle A, uh, there are three different angles uh, at the vertex A. So when there's more than one angle, you can't just say it's single letters. You've got to say several letters right there. All right, uh, let's see. So Names of angles. So an angle is an acute angle if it's measures. Okay, so if this says right here, if the measure of angle A is greater than zero but less than 90. Okay, and then uh, you guys have all heard of a 90 degree angle. It's called a right angle. So if it equals 90, then it's a right angle. And I'm sure you've heard of an obtuse angle before. Obtuse angles are if it's greater than 90, but it's less than 180. Okay? If it's, if it's equal to 180, it's called a straight angle. Straight lines are 180. Okay? You'll use that trick forever and ever and ever. Straight lines are 180. Okay? So if it's greater than 90, then it's an obtuse angle. If it's equal to 90, it's called a right angle. And if it's less than 90, it's called an acute angle. And if it equals 180, it's a straight line, so it's called a straight angle. Okay, so angle addition postulate. This is just like the segment addition postulate in the last lesson. So if P is in the interior of angle RST, okay, see there's angle RST and P is in the interior. Okay, now I'm going to construct the ray SP. Okay, ray SP, boom, there it is. Okay, now do you see three angles there? The two little guys inside, then the big guy, the big blue guy. Okay, the angle addition postulate is going to say this. This angle plus this angle equals the entire angle right there. Okay, just like the segment addition postulate, but it's the angle addition postulate. Angle RSP plus angle PST equals the entire angle right here, the blue angle, angle RST. That's what that says right there. Alrighty, easy enough. Okay, so let's use that with this guy. Okay, so now it says angle, uh, the measure of angle OMG, OMG, that's the big angle. Okay, it equals 72 degrees, and they tell me these two guys right here, 
Okay, so this one's 3x plus 6, this one's 2x minus 9. So this angle plus this angle equals the 72, equals the OMG. Okay, so angle addition postulate is going to let me do that. Okay, I'm going to combine like terms. 2x plus 3x is 5x, and then minus 9 plus 6 is minus 3. I'm going to get rid of this minus 3 by doing plus 3 to 72. So you get 75, and then 5 goes in there 15 times. Okay. Almost always in geometry, x is not the answer. It's of the process to get the answer. So we got x. Now it says find angle OME. Okay, OME is this 3x plus 6. And GME is GME is this 2x minus 9. So I'm going to plug in 5. x equals 5 into both of those. And uh, I get 51 degrees for OME and 21 degrees for uh, GME. Notice 51 plus 21 does equal that 72 right there. Okay, and if you were in my class, this would be your homework assignment. 